Next up is Mediator in Allentown. Hello and welcome to the Episcopal Church of the Mediator in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're here to introduce our church to you, to tell you our strengths and challenges and who we're looking for as our new rector. So thank you for viewing and this is our church. And I'm Katherine Kaiser, I'm part of the search committee. And Maureen, did you introduce yourself? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Maureen Stewart, and I am also part of the search committee. So that is why we're doing this together. Thank you. Um, this is our mission. Um, the Episcopal Church of the Mediator is a welcoming community of faith empowered by the Holy Spirit, celebrating and proclaiming God's love as we minister in the parish, in our community, and in the world. And this mission is really exemplified in our Refugee Community Center. Um, here's a picture of our Refugee Community Center in action. Um, this is from just a couple weeks ago. Um, and uh, one of our English classes, we have two English classes um, in Tuesdays and Thursday mornings and Tuesday and Thursday evenings, one class on Zoom. Um, we also have citizenship classes and we have several graduates who've become US citizens um, through that program. And here's some more pictures from our Refugee Community Center. This is from our summer uh, program. So we always have a program for the children. It's also kind of a pre-K um, program, kindergarten readiness program. Um, this summer, we really focused on resocialization um, because children had been stuck at home for, for a year. Um, and so they, they did a lot of play, a lot of singing, a lot of reading stories. Um, and then meanwhile, the adults were, were learning English uh, downstairs. And then uh, this picture from on the left of, of Halima and our, her husband Noah um, is from our, uh, our community dinners that we used to host uh, before the pandem pandemic and we really hope to revive those soon. Um, it was sort of a wonderful gathering of community members, people just passing by, parishioners, refugees, um, and the, most of the, everybody brought their favorite dish. <laughs> and so it was often the best food in town because everybody really uh, cracked open their, their best recipe for, for this one. So it was uh, always a, a great time and delicious food. And even though we were going through the pandemic, there were still fun things to do uh, through Zoom and also outside. In July, there was an ice cream social that was well attended and the kids especially loved. And also there's a planned baby shower and it was done on Zoom, but um, that was very much appreciated by the expectant mothers to be in the refugee community. So um, some of our strengths um, is our, our worship is sort of central to our congregation and our identity um, and our, we have a small but mighty music program um, with a, a quartet um, and we have a strong commitment to service. That's a great strength of ours um, and many uh, parishioners are involved in the Refugee Community Center um, and everybody chips in. Uh, to help get, you know, people, uh, school uniforms in the refugee community um, and, uh, and helps out with um, the service opportunities that we have in the church. So we have a, a core commitment to service. Um, we also have a, a core group of committed people um, uh, who are really involved in every aspect of, of running the church. Um, we have close ties to the neighborhood organizations um, and uh, the school district, the local school district. Um, and we are financially stable, which is a, um, a positive in um, this, this era. <laughs> and as you can see in the picture, um, that's the choir and parishioners, it's a Palm Sunday service. We are fortunate where our church is located, which is next to West Park which is a beautiful old fashioned park in the city. Uh, there's a band shell 
And there's a lot of ties with our church to the West Park Association. Uh, we have like a Christmas tree that's decorated and we have like a little social um, with that. And we also have art in the park where our church participates um, serving refreshments. And uh, it's just nice to be able to have that closeness to the park uh, where you can see the Palm Sunday procession starting and also taking the kids out uh, during Sunday school. We've already used the park that way for like outdoor classrooms. So we're fortunate in that. Um, and we're also very close to the high school and the local middle school. Um, and one of the things that we're really looking for um, to jump ahead a little bit <laughs> is someone who can help um, further strengthen our connections into the community, particularly um, as our neighborhood is, um, is Latinx um, primarily. And, and Allentown is a majority Latinx uh, community. We're about to elect our um, first Latinx mayor, no matter who wins. Um, and so we are, are looking forward to connecting deeper into the community as well. Along with our strengths, we also have challenges. Uh, growth is needed as in many churches today. And especially after the pandemic, we're trying to get the congregation back to church post pandemic and developing new leadership and volunteer base. We have a core of great uh, leadership and volunteers in all aspects of the church, but we'd like to expand that. And growth in youth and adult Christian education that we can keep our church community together and growing. And that brings us to whom we seek. So we're hoping um, that you will help us out with this. Um, we're looking for someone full-time. We're looking for a compassionate, kind, and faithful leader, uh, a strong interpreter of the gospel, and someone to help guide us in worship and in our various ministries in the community. And we're looking for you to be part of our uh, beloved community as well, um, to be, uh, to come in into our, um, our wonderful community and, and lead us um, in our various, various ministries. We're looking for, for help um, to find us new ways to grow and really a shepherd for our flock. We're looking for someone who will help us live as Christ would want us to live, using the gospel to help us in our own lives. And since experiencing COVID and the separation, we need someone to bring us back together and help us grow and helping us with our everyday life experiences, how we can cope and help each other. And we feel we can do that through the weekly lessons and the gospel. Well, thank you for your consideration and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much for listening and please keep us in mind. Thank you.